I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And today we're gonna to be talking about do feelings fade in no contact? That's a big fear. Right? It is a huge fear because everybody out there uh, that's really looking at going no contact and not reaching out to their ex is terrified that making this decision is going to mean that your ex loses their feelings for you, they forget about you, and they move on, and that's the end of it. I got news. You're not that forgettable. You're not that forgettable. And for many of you, it stems from trauma that you've had in your early childhood that you felt like you were invisible and that people weren't going to come back, that your needs weren't going to be right. met, right? Right. And so, for many of you guys, the idea of going no contact and not reaching out to them feels like, well, I'm just going to disappear in their mind and that's it. We're not going to have another chance. They're telling me they don't want another chance. Well, if you give them some time, in many cases, they're going to revisit the idea of working things out with you or at least exploring it. Absolutely. There's nobody breaks up with somebody and then never thinks about it again. But that's what a lot of you guys are thinking and feeling. Yeah, that Say that again, Margaret. Okay. Um, very few people break up with you and just never think about you again. People think about the breakup and what you meant and they're sad after. Yeah. Even, they're not going to forget you in five minutes. Even if they're displaying behavior or an attitude that shows you, I don't care, I don't want to talk to you. It's because in many cases, you guys are badgering and uh, doing the grand gesture, sending them the handwritten letter, won't leave them alone. And so they get more, I guess, forceful. Yes, and say, leave me alone, go away. Yeah. Because you're not getting the hint. And we understand that it, sure. you feel like you're dying to leave them alone. And I know that just as well as any of you out there, I felt like that. And Margaret saw me go through that. I it did. It was horrible. I was putting him together with glue. <laughs> it was awful. And I know how horrible that feels. And that's why we want you to know that being on the other end of this and taking years to study this and research it and look at all the situations and how they play out, feelings don't fade in no contact. No. That's not how attachment works. No, it isn't. Right? Right. Like we are meant to bond and connect with other people. And it's one of the most uh, powerful drives that we have, right? Is to right. connect with and attach to other people because it means our survival. Yep. And that's why, you know, a baby attaches and bonds to the mom right away. And how does a, a one or a two year old know not to go too far away from their caregivers. You have to be bonded to mom so she doesn't let you. Right? Go play over there, dear. The saber-toothed tiger lives nearby. I mean, animals do this. Even yeah. ducks imprint. Absolutely. Right? Oh, yes. I mean, and a baby duck that's first born is, is imprinted. We can talk about that one day. Some of the early studies on attachment come from that. Yeah. And so you don't just forget about somebody because they don't reach out to you. If anything, what happens in many cases is having that time away from you is so powerful for them that they can't stop thinking about you. But they often have to go through the process, which we've talked about in many of our videos before, right? right? But I have three success stories here, and I believe I pulled all three of these off of comments on my YouTube channel and wanted to share them with you guys, okay? 
The first one said, Craig, I just want to say thank you for the advice. I got my ex back. We broke up because of something dumb. She was mad and she made the decision to break up with me based on her emotion at the time. So I still had hope for the breakup thing to still work out. The no contact is such a good advice. I don't think English was her first language, no. it's but it's good okay. Advice. We agree. <laughs> I, I archi archived. Let me start again. I archived all of the posts on my Instagram that has my face on it. I barely posted any sad songs on my Instagram. I didn't tweet anything. Last night, her friend texted me saying that she misses me and is dying to see me, but she couldn't because there were no pictures of me on social media. Guys, listen to Craig. He is the greatest of all time. <laughs> there you go. So thank you for sharing that. I don't remember which video he posted that on, but I'm sure you'll come across that in one of the videos. Now I have a second one here um, that they said, this is another uh, comment on my YouTube. Uh, they said, not contact always works. Some of these people, remember, we're getting people around the world, so a lot of times sure. say we, we know need what you no mean. contact. If you do it right away, five months after my ex-boyfriend broke up with me and I'm happy living my life, improving myself, I met someone else and we have been seeing each other for a little bit. Let me go to the point. Yes, my ex reached out to me twice. The first time after 44 days of no contact. But who's counting? <laughs> I didn't do the personal work. This is what I just warned you about in another video. I didn't do the personal work, so when he called me, I lost my mind and acted needy, psychotic, angry, to the point that he blocked me. Wow, I guess she did it up good, huh? Yeah. And see, she admitted she didn't do the work. Yeah. I thought that was done for good. So I cried for two more weeks. Then I picked myself up. I started going back to the gym. I lost 10 pounds that I gained when I was soaking in my own misery, <laughs> hanging out with my girlfriends, working on my business, hobbies, and spirituality. I got a counselor, and 95% of the time with her has been used to talk about my childhood traumas and maybe 5% about my ex. So good for her. Yeah, good she for was her. really doing the work at this point. Yes, she, she really She was. made a mistake the first time around. Yep. She learned from it. She said, but guys, please don't make that mistake. Focus on the personal growth from the get-go. Stop looking for easy fixes. And so that you're ready if they come back, yes. It's not easy to do the amount of growth you have to do to, show, to really show somebody you've changed. Okay? Let me go on. Anyways, 44 days after he broke up, the no contact, he called me again. 44 days both times. Well. Not once but 30 times between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. He called her 30 times between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. Do you think he had separation anxiety? No. Yes, he did. 44 I wonder days. if this is what we teach. Is 44 a mystical <laughs> number we don't know? Uh, 44 days, but 30 times. Yeah. Of course I was sleeping, and when I woke up, I saw all the missing calls on my phone, FaceTime, WhatsApp, Messenger, emails, and text. He wanted to be sure he was clear and he left no stone unturned. You see what happens? Okay. He's asking me to call him back. I thought, oh well, he was definitely drunk, so I did not call him back, lol. He called me again that morning, but when he called, I was in yoga class at the gym. He got so desperate that he told me he was coming to my house, so I texted him back and he called me right away and I answered. Now see how all of a sudden, the shoe is on the other foot. Yeah. She left him alone, and look at what look happened. what happened. And this time she did the work. Yeah. He said that he loved me all this time. Let me say that again. What do we say? Do feelings fade in no contact? No. He said that he loved me all this time, and he didn't understand why I was the girl he wanted to be now. Eh, see the work? 
I was the girl he wanted to be now, and we're not together. He was spying on my social media, and friends in common told him how well I was doing, and I never talked to my friends about him because I don't trust our friends in common. Good for you. You can't trust anybody not to go back. Yeah. Okay. It says, he, Deodro, the work, we separate so he is a mess. That sentence is a mess, too. I don't know what that means, but I'm just going to read it. Okay. Actually, I don't want to farthing. I don't know what she means there. Farthing? I don't, I don't want to farthing. But I think she means that she doesn't want to go further with him at this point. Because okay. she goes on to say, he calls me every day and texts me every day. He gave me a present. We are only friends. You can get your ex back. I haven't because I don't want to be in a relationship with him. And I'm still talking to him now because he is still someone that I care about. There you go. Okay. But you can see what happens. These things happen. It feels like it won't. But now you got two examples and I got a third but one. But when you're in crisis, time gets kind of messed up. If it's not happening now, it feels like it will never happen. That's right. Anybody in crisis will tell you that. Um, yeah. And it seems that their feelings don't or won't change when they absolutely can. And you saw what feelings happened. Feelings change all the time. Yes. Like I say, feelings change like the clouds that move across the sky. Yeah. Right? And I really believe that. Oh, yeah. I mean, they change throughout a day. They change within a few hours. You know? All it takes is one event, one belief, one thought that can change your ex yep. and make them want to repair things with you. Yep. Right? Okay, we got one last one. And I believe this was posted on my uh, YouTube channel too. Mm -hmm. um, they said, My wife and I broke up last September. I unfriended her on Facebook, unfollowed her on Instagram. She continued to follow me and I went no contact. It was one of the most difficult times in my life. Well, I can imagine. We both loved each other very much, but we couldn't agree on living arrangements. Long story short, her adult daughter and her grandchild were basically living in my lounge room 24-7. No. I couldn't tolerate the situation, and my wife refused to do anything about it. I moved out and got my own place, where I could have my own space and, spe and sanctuary, which was a breath of fresh air. Mm -hmm. Anyways, four months went past and I went through all the horrible emotional oh, stages yeah. of separation from her. They were married. Yep. And that's she, even harder. She kept contacting me for frivolous reasons, which made it even more difficult. Indirect, direct approaches. Yeah. Right? That's the frivolous reason. I was trying to move on. I started dating and seeing someone else for a while, which didn't get too far, but it was good for me. Mm -hmm. Christmas Eve 2018. I had a serious motorcycle accident after ca a kangaroo jumped out in front of my bike while riding at nighttime in the country in Australia. I was going to say, it probably wouldn't happen here in Florida, but I bet it does happen there. Yeah. I was in the hospital for a few days oh. afterwards with a number of injuries where I put a post on Instagram explaining what happened and that I was okay, thankfully. Less than a week after getting out of the hospital, she turned up on my doorstep wanting to see me and help take care of me. Wow. I was reluctant to oblige, but I gave her the benefit of the doubt. We have been back together now since that time. And she demonstrated that she is committed to me once more and has taken action to get her daughter and grandchild into their own accommodation. Although they are still living with her. I gather it's not his daughter. Yeah, I think it must be hers. Mm -hmm. However, our relationship has never been better and more solidified than it is now. And we are working towards a bright future together as husband and wife again. Isn't that wonderful? We will be able to live together again once her daughter and grandson are sorted out. But until then, we are staying with each other every 
night, either at her place or mine. It's not a typical conventional situation no, at the but moment, hey. but it's working out very well. This is how things worked out for me. Sometimes it takes the real possibility of losing someone you love forever to realize what's important. This is why no contact is such a powerful tool. Although I do hope that nobody else has to also has a serious accident to achieve the same results. <laughs> LOL. Thank you, Craig and Margaret, for all your help. I just keep listening and learning from your videos throughout the entire time we're separated. And you guys gave me the great hope and comfort during that dark time. Wow. Three examples there, guys. Can I say one or two things about that other one? Sure. That last one we just did. Now, interesting, I'm sure his wife felt like she was caught between her daughter's needs and his needs. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure she struggled with it. But I think she saw herself as in the middle. But eventually, they were able to resume their adult relationship mm -hmm. and work on it together, which was much, much healthier. So good for both of them. Yeah, but he had to walk away. Yes, he did. He did the right that. thing. Yeah, he yeah. did do the right thing. And we have seen people's lives put on hold around exactly this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So good for them. And so you could see, I mean, those examples were pulled right off of the channel in different videos. Um, feelings and no contact. Do they fade? I don't think so. I think once you really love somebody and care about them yes. and you attach to them, right. maybe it's imprinted on them forever. Yep. I mean, I can think about girls that I dated many, many years ago right. that I still care about and yeah. at some level I still love Would them. have some, some feeling for them. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Even though it's been many years and yes. I haven't talked to them, yes. um, depending upon the relationship. Yes. Yeah. But that, you know, you still care about somebody once they were a huge part of your life like that. We know it's not easy. It's and not easy. We often have to talk about it to you for your situation because a lot of you guys want to know is this right for my situation and that's a very valid question yeah. some of you guys don't need to do no contact i have had situations yeah. where i'm like i don't understand why are you not doing any contact with this person um so yes there are situations where um you know you shouldn't be ignoring somebody for sure right but um i think that once that somebody truly bonds with you and cares about you those feelings don't go away it's kind of there forever that's right yeah if it's the real thing so, of course, uh, if you like this video, put a like on there and make sure you subscribe to the channel, please. We appreciate that support. And if you also like podcasts, we are now podcasting on iTunes and Spotify and all the major podcast uh, platforms. Um, if you want our help personally, just go to my website, AskCraig.net. Sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching and I do Skype uh, coaching. Margaret is also available for Skype coaching. Yes, I am. And so feel free to sign up with me. That's right. Just click on Margaret on the top of the website to sign up with her. That's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And we will talk with you soon.